Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We are finally out here on Emerald Coast. So this map, it came out on Tuesday, which was yesterday when you see this video. I am recording it on release day, but you won't see it until Wednesday. I am so excited about this map though. We actually have some feral goats just right up ahead. That's a level 4 on 113 to 142, but I'm so excited about this map. It's one I've wanted for a very long time. So now that we finally have it here in the game, it's just, it's a very exciting moment. So we have those feral goats literally just spawned in. I walk like two steps over here and there they are in their feeding zone. I also um, spotted a female red fox over here somewhere. Not too sure exactly where she got to, but it was the only one that I saw. So let's take a look at these feral goats. Let's see what we have. We have the level four there. Um, let's see. That looks like a female right there. It's going to be a female. That one's a, another female. Got another female there. This one's a female as well. So a lot of females in this little herd. That one's also a female. Is there any others over here? Is that one right there? Is that a rock? That looks to be a rock. So we have that guy, or not that one, but that one right there. He's a decent four, and it'll be our first kill here on Emerald Coast. So let's go ahead and let's take him down. I just wanted to make sure that wasn't a male that I missed or something. Let's go ahead and take him down. They actually got a fur rework, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to use the 243, and let's go ahead and get him down. I do want to get the 22-250 out, um, so we're going to replace the 220, the 243 with the 22-250 here in a little bit. It was the gun that came with this map. So that should be a good shot. At least, fingers crossed, it's going to be 50-75. He is going to be dropping there, so hopefully there wasn't any others. Like I said, I think it was mostly just females over there. And, of course, there was another one. That's a nice one, actually, 177 to 205. 208 or 207, I think, is diamond. As soon as I walk up the steps to this lookout tower, we do have some kangaroos over here. So there's a level 7, 311 to 387. Not too sure exactly what diamond is for these. I do know they go up to 9 legendary, and they are a class 4 animal. I'm just not sure about the diamond scores. We will check here in a minute. So that level 7 is going to flee, and the rest of them are going to be kind of common stuff. We have a level 6, 279 to 355. That one's a level 5. Another level 7, 310 to 386. So these are going to end up just kind of leaving us here. Maybe they'll come back because he's spooked. That's why they're like traveling and stuff. Did not even get their feed zone or anything like that. But let's get up here and let's get this lookout tower. We still got to go get our feral goat and everything. And I think they are actually coming back over here. Let's see. Can we spot them? Yeah, there they are right there. Pretty sure that's the exact same herd. Um, it doesn't show they're nervous or anything like that, so maybe it's not. It looks like there's just a ton of animals everywhere, and we just like got over here. And there's a red fox. That's a level 3 female. Let's get up here, though. Let's get this lookout tower and stop wasting time so we can get in here and actually start doing some hunting. This is actually a completely different herd of feral goats. So he's a level 3, 123 to 152. We are going to go ahead and take him down. He is going to be going alert and stuff. So should be a pretty good shot on him. Let's go ahead and let's get this lookout tower. And then we'll go get both these feral goats. But yeah, this scenery, just like based off what we've seen so far, looks incredible. I can't wait to explore this entire map. Get all the lookout towers and the outpost. I'm just, like I said, I'm so excited about it. That's really all I can say. But there's the hunting pressure. We have the double hunting pressure. Meaning we've got both the animals. So I do want to get our first um, outpost as well. But let's get down here and let's get these feral goats. This is going to be the level 3 and also our first chance to take a look at the new harvest screen. So he's going to be a silver at 127.73 and feral goats they are diamond at 208.71. So I figured it was like 207, 208, just wasn't too sure which one it was but that one that went up to 205, he definitely was decent. But we got this guy in the right scapula and the right lung. So honestly, I don't hate this new harvest screen, but I don't think they really needed to change it as well. If you get what I mean, like the other one was really good. But this one, I do think it'll kind of grow on me over time. But I, I mean, it's fine. It's nothing crazy. But yeah, I got him in the right lungs. So that was a fantastic shot. Let's go ahead. We'll accept him and let's go find this other one. We have yet another herd of feral goats up ahead. This one's a level 3, 108 to 137. We have a level 4 in there, 129 to 157. And then this one is a level 3, 109 to 138. He has one right beside him there, but it looks like a female, and it is. I completely forgot to talk about their rework. I said it over there before, like when we first shot them, but when we got that level 3, I completely forgot to even mention it. But they look fantastic. Like, if you look at his fur right here, I was just kind of checking him out before I picked him up, and he looks really, really good. Let's pick him up, and he's going to be a silver at 139.43, and we got him there in the right lung, so same as the other one. And he is on the smaller side of things for a level 4. But he looks really, really good. I actually really like that. It'll be kind of cool to see it on some of the other fur types and whatnot. But he looks good from what I see so far. We're going to accept him. Let's go ahead and take down one of these. Might as well since they're over here. We got that level 4. I think we'll just take him. So I'm going to go ahead and reload. K9 
can't wait to actually get a kangaroo down. That's the one thing I really want to do. Like I said, I do want to head back over there to that outpost and get it. So maybe we'll run across some kangaroos over there. But let's go ahead and get this guy. We'll go for that shot right there. Probably going to be a little bit high, it looked like. But he's going to start dropping, so maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. Maybe a little bit far back. So he's going to be dropping. We have these over here. They look to be females. That's going to be the rest of his herd. Let's go get him. I obviously haven't been out here very long, but I can tell you this bottom left-hand corner of the map is fantastic for the feral goats. We have some others that are coming in over here, and I have like four or five zones already. We have these two right here. These are feral goats. These two are also feral goats, and then this one is as well. So that's five zones already just from where we basically started at. But let's pick this one up, and he's going to be a level four, 137.56. If we can get this to move around, that'd be cool. There we go. So he's just another small level four, and we got him in the liver and the left lung. So it was a little bit far back like I thought. It didn't even penetrate based off what's that showing right there. But he's a level 4, nothing crazy about him. I do think we're going to try to move away from the feral goats unless we find like a level 5 or something. I'm not going to worry about shooting that level 3. He's an 89 to 117. That does look like another male right there. But like I said, I want to get over here to this lookout. Or not the lookout, but the outpost. So let's get over there. We're here at the outpost. I went ahead and already claimed it, as well as buying the 22 to 50. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it really quickly here. It only costs 7,000 to purchase, so that is not very bad whatsoever. Even if you're just starting out in the game, if you do a couple missions, you can get to 7,000 pretty quickly. But it's the Zag Environment or 22 to 50. It is free with the update, and like I said, it only costs 7,000 cash to purchase. And you can also get it for free if you do the Emerald Coast missions. It doesn't say that anymore since I've purchased it, but before I purchased it, in big red letters it said you can do the missions to get it for free so that's pretty cool we can also take a look at the ammo over here at the very top the 22 250 polymer tips that's what i went ahead and bought recommended class is two to four so it's going to take down like red foxes and feral goats and stuff like that effective range is 150 meters expansion three and penetration 25 then you have the soft points Effective range of 150 meters, expansion 15, and then penetration 12. So we're going to be using the polymer tips just for the penetration there. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here. We can go to our um, storage and actually get a better look by going to customize. I'm not actually going to customize it right now. We'll probably do something with it later. But it looks really cool, honestly. Um, I'm actually really excited to get it out here and test it to see just how good it's going to be. So let's put our scope on. Um, let's see, we'll have to um, actually equip the ammo, so let's do that really quickly. Have to go through all this process, I forget sometimes. So let's scroll down until we find it. Where's it going to be at? Um, actually, I didn't move it over, I don't think, from the storage here, so that's something else I forget to do. There's a lot of steps when it comes to this. So there we go. We now have it in our storage, and there it is at the very top. And let's put it in our guns. So let's go test this thing out. I saw some feral goats over here just outside the outpost on the hill over there. So we might test it on them or just see what else we can find. We might be able to test it on a kangaroo. Still need to find one of those. And that's not a bad one to potentially take down with the 22 250. 132 to 161 for his estimates. There's actually going to be another one coming in. 148 to 177. He's going to, I was going to say he's going to start walking there, but he is going to start trotting again. Let's go ahead and get it out. And hopefully he kind of just stops right here in the creek giving us a fantastic broadside shot. And we'll just kind of see what happens here. Um, he's not dropping yet, he's, and he's going to start right there. So 50, 75. The feral goats are just really tough, but it looks like he's kind of dropping at the same pace that the, the, two, the 243 would I'm kind of dropping with. I just kind of stumbled over my words there. That's kind of how the 243 is. It takes them just a little bit to go down, but they are a very tough um, animal. Let's get over here and let's check him out. We'll see how that penetration is. We've got a giant level 4 feral goat there, 196 to 225 for this guy's estimates. Honestly, I thought he might have been a level 5 when I first saw his horns coming through the brush. Let's go ahead and get him right there. He is a really, really big one, and he is diamond potential since diamond is 208. He goes all the way up to 225. Now, I don't think he's going to be a diamond level 4, but it would be pretty cool if he was. But here's this guy right here, and he's going to be a gold at 171.51, and we got him in the right lung, so that was with the 22250, and it did pretty good. It looks like pretty much like the 243 dropped him about the same um, length of time as well, so honestly, I could see it being a pretty good gun that we add to our loadout potentially here and there. Don't know if it will replace the 243, but we'll kind of have to wait and see. But let's get over here and let's get the big guy and see what he's going to score. We also took him down with the 22250. 
Turns out we did not get a vital shot on that big level 4 feral goat. Not too sure exactly what happened, but you can see we only have hunting pressure from the one level 4 and that is it. So I'm going to try to track him down and see if we can get a better shot on him here in a minute. But I did see some kangaroos over here. So we have a level 6, 238 to 314. A level 7 right there, 380 to 456. And then over here to his left is another level 7, 341 to 417. Beside him is a level 2 female. So I'm not too sure if there's any others over here. These are the only four that I spotted. Oh, there's actually a mythical, so 335 to 411. That's pretty cool. Did not see him whatsoever. But the level 7 over here has better estimates. The one behind this female, I think it is. Um, yeah, so he goes up to 456. The mythical only goes to 411. So I guess it really doesn't matter too much which one we take down. I'm going to get a little bit closer to those so we can get a better shot. We are now in a pretty good spot to potentially take down one of these. So we have the mythical there laying on his back. I really love their animations. They all have just like different animations here. That one's kind of laying on his side and he's stretching out right now. That's pretty cool. You've got this one also just kind of laying down on his side. But then the mythical is laying on his back right there. I think we'll just go for him. He's giving us a really good shot. We could take that one. Would love to get the big one. I just don't really think I want to shoot through the bush, honestly. Especially on our first kangaroo. Let's go ahead and get him. We do have the Malmer 7mm, so that's going to cover classes 4 to 9. Let's get it out, and let's try to get him. And he's going to actually turn right there, potentially giving us a better shot than he did previously. So let's take that, and it's going to be fantastic. He is going to be down, so I'm not even going to try and take like a running shot or anything like that. But we have our first kangaroo. This is very, very cool. One of the species I was really looking forward to, especially um, along with like the sandbar, the bantang and stuff like that. But I really wanted to hunt the kangaroos. So let's get over here and pick him up. We'll see what they look like up close and personal. They look really, really good. It's honestly kind of crazy to believe that we now have kangaroos here in the game. Let's pick him up. And he's going to be a gold at 408.95. Diamond for these is 492. So I think I actually remember seeing that somewhere. I'm like on another stream or something like that. That diamond was 492. So that's the same as the alligators over on Mississippi. Unless they got a change. But their previous diamond score was 492. So I remember that now. But got him in the left lung and the right lung. So that was pretty much as good as you could ask for. Especially with him laying down. Would have been cool if we got into the heart. But the double lung pretty much dropped him. He got up there for a split second. And that was literally it. So we can go ahead and get a better look at him here. I just really like that pose there. I'm actually going to get a couple screenshots, potentially for the thumbnail in case we don't get something crazy or whatever. And they give decent cash. He gave 1100 almost 1200 there. Let's accept him. Now I think we're going to try and find that um, level 4 feral goat. Don't want to leave him out there with a bullet in him. And if we can't find him, we will move on. But I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to find him. Luckily, that did not take very long at all. Looks like he's trying to maybe go back to his zone or something like that. He's at 25 to 50 for his health. Let's get him here. He is going to be calm and let's take that shot. And we shot him with the 22, didn't we? Oh my goodness, that has turned out to be just absolutely tragic. Did not even realize we switched to it. So let's get him with the 22 to 50. That's going to bring him down. That was terrible. Sometimes it kind of switches to the other gun and you don't even realize it. I know that happens to me all the time. That is absolutely tragic. Shot him with the 22, um, or messed up the first shot, then shot him with the 22, and then got him finally um, right there. I don't even know if that was going to be a good shot. On that third one, I just kind of took it, just kind of put him down. We actually have a quail right here. So let's go ahead and get one of these down. We'll go for that. Do, is there any others over here? I don't see any. Looks like it was just the only one. Wouldn't it be crazy if it was like a level 3 or something? It's just going to be a female, though. She's a silver, 158.40. And yeah, getting a better look at these. This is the first stubble quail we've took down. But they are very, very tiny. I, I saw them on the EW stream and they were tiny then. They are tiny just up close like this. We did get vital blood on that third shot, so that is good. We at least know we got the vitals on the third shot. That's what I was hoping to get with that second shot. But it just did not work out. So there is another quail here. I thought I heard another one. Let's go ahead and get him down. And we do need to buy more shotgun shells. I've been meaning to do that since our Revan Tuli hunt the other day. But this guy will be a silver at 197.81. So he's a really big one. Um, just unfortunate we messed him up there. So the first shot was in the right scapula. It just did not penetrate. It was a little bit high and just did not penetrate once it got into the right shoulder there. That's just a bad shot on me, honestly. Probably could have got a better angle on him or something. The second time we hit him in the flesh with the 22, that was terrible. And the third time we got him in the left lung and the liver. So it did make up, make up for it with that shot there. Just really unfortunate that happened. 
Then we have our little quail right here, and this guy will be a gold at 210.53. So what is diamond for the quail? Let's go ahead and take a look really quickly. Diamond is 238, so he's a big one. I'm not, not too sure exactly what his estimates were. Just kind of shot him as soon as he went up in the air. I think I might have spotted him for a second. So I have to check that when I'm editing this video, but he is a good one for sure. I got pretty lucky here and was able to sneak up on a little herd of kangaroos. Now, not too sure exactly how many is over here. I do know there's three for sure. This one's a level 6, 291 to 367. Just over here beside him is a level 7, 356 to 432. And then to my right, we have a level 4 female, 268 to 344. And looks like we might have another one here. It's going to be a level 6, 290, 294 to 370. So there's probably some others that we just cannot spot. I think we'll just focus on the level 7. If we can get him with the 22, 250, that'd be pretty cool. It is a clay desk go up to class four they are class four animals so i think we can manage to potentially get him so let's just stand up get their attention we want him to stand up there and let i was gonna say let's take that shot he is gonna kind of turn back around here and he should hopefully stand up as our heart rate goes all over the place and he is going to be fleeing so that was terrible our heart rate just started to go up and up i was hoping he was going to turn a little bit quicker than he did so maybe we can focus on getting one of these level sixes maybe this one right here We'll run over here just a little bit, get him to go alert like that one, and then hopefully he stands up a little bit quicker there. So let's wait on him. Our heart rate is still going crazy since we decided to run over here. Let's take that shot, though. And fingers crossed it's good. Looks like it was good. Looks like we probably got a heart shot on him. There goes, um, there's actually another little herd over there. That is crazy. Looks like everywhere I'm looking now, we're starting to find um, kangaroos. We have a mythical 456 to 532. He is a monster. And we actually have one that's aggressive on us. He just came out of nowhere. This is what I've been wanting to see is them go aggressive. And we actually have two, looks like. So let's let him kick us. That is so cool, honestly. That is super cool. Um, is he going to start fleeing? No, he's actually going to stay aggressive. Let's take that shot there and we'll get him. So we'll get that one. Is this one? He's going to be a level 7, 377 to 453. And then let's get him. We shot him directly in the face. Holy crap. Did not want to do that whatsoever, but we got him there with the second shot. He kind of came up a little bit too close on us, and he's going to start throwing punches. Um, one of the new multi-mounts is actually a kangaroo multi-mount with them, like, boxing and stuff. That was something I was really hoping for when they announced that we are getting two new multi-mounts. Let's pick this guy up. He'll be a gold at 388.52. So the first shot just barely missed the neck. I'm glad we didn't hit, like, his face or anything like that. Just barely missed the neck there. And then the second shot, we got him in the liver and the stomach. So liver it is vitals. I would prefer, like, lungs and stuff, but I will take it there. And, yeah, he just was going in for the punches there. That is such a cool animation. Such a cool animal. Um, so we have the vital blood on this one as well. Probably had to track him just a little bit. He's actually going to be right there. And then we have our level 6 that we dropped on the spot. So, yeah, pretty crazy right there. We just took down three of them. I don't... Actually, we deleted that zone, it looks like. So that's unfortunate. I was hoping we wouldn't do that, but we did indeed. So there's a level 7, um, 376 to 452. He's a big one. And then we have that big mythical over there that actually is diamond potential. But I have seen a lot of people talking about the kangaroos actually trolling quite a bit with the nine legendaries. So obviously don't think you'll be a diamond mythical, but it'd be pretty cool. And we'll just see what his estimates are going to be. Let's pick up this one. So it's level six. He's a silver 337.32. And we got him in the left lung there. So good shots on him. And then we should have one more, more, one more over here that we dropped um, with a hard shot it looked like. So let's go ahead and find him. And there he is right there. So we'll scan through here really quickly. See if we have some others. Um, basically, what's happening is I'm finding one zone, and then as soon as I um, get past it, there's another one just right beside him, basically. Here is this guy, and he'll be a silver at 342.57, and got him in the heart, the right lung, and thoracic vertebrae. Fantastic shot. You can even see, like, the muscles on these things. That is absolutely insane. Just really, really good details on these. Thankfully, we were able to catch up with him, so 456 to 532. For his estimates, there's actually a second mythical over here if we can spot him really quickly. Not too sure exactly where he got to, um, but he was on the much smaller end of things. There he is right there at 366 to 442. Let's go ahead and get the big guy down. Hopefully we can kind of get him. We might actually get the 22 out. Kind of throw a shot over there and just kind of get his attention here if we can. So let's do that. That'll get him to go alert. He's going to turn around and then we should be able to take him down. And he should stand up right there. Let's take that shot, and it's going to be fantastic once again. The 7mm looks to be probably the best gun for him, just dropping them. Obviously, we haven't used many other guns except for the 22 250 but the 7mm is doing the job just fine. Let's get over here and get this guy and see what he's going to end up scoring. We actually have one 
that is still just alerted over there. They're giving us the warning call, so maybe we could get another one. But we have created so much hunting pressure, I don't think I'm going to, honestly. We have our big mythical, and he is, in fact, going to be a gold at 467.15. So what exactly is gold? Gold is 378, so he was a guaranteed gold for sure by a wide margin there. But got him in the stomach and the liver. A little bit low on that shot, but got into the liver, which is a vital shot. And you saw how fast it dropped him just with the 7mm there. But he was a giant, like we said, diamond potential, but did not see him being a diamond whatsoever. If the nine legendaries troll as much as they do, the mythicals, um, even if they do have a good estimate, shouldn't make diamond hardly ever. I mean, theoretically, it could be possible, but I just would never see it happening, honestly. This is one of the animals I really wanted to find um, when I was out here today. A level 3 fallow deer, 124 to 165. If you didn't know already, the fallow deer is the new great one here in the game. And along with that, they basically got an entire overhaul. Their fur looks much better. They got some new fur types as well. I think they're both chocolate and white, if I'm not mistaken. There might be some others other than that. But I know the two that I've been hearing a lot about is the chocolate and white. So there's this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and get him down and just get a better look at him. Like I said, the fur looks absolutely fantastic. We saw it in the EW stream, so let's go ahead and get him there. And the 7mm just does a fantastic job on him. You saw we dropped him right there on the spot. So let's get over here and let's pick him up and see how good he looks. And funny enough, this guy actually is the white fur type. So from a distance, I wasn't too sure. I thought he might have been the white fur type, but I wasn't sure until now. Let's pick him up. He's going to be a silver at 135.61, and we got him in the left lung and the right lung, so that was fantastic, right through the middle of the lungs. But they look really, really good now. Like, just so spectacular. I love how that looks. Can't wait to see the other fur types and see what they look like. But so far, the fur remasters that they've done, um, the some of the reworks they've done with the animals we took down, like the feral goats and now the fallow deer, they've done a really, really good job. And I can't wait to actually check out one of the red deer, hoping we can kind of find one of those here pretty soon because I want to see what the red deer look like because they also got a fur kind of remaster. Speaking of red deer, we actually have a level 7 right here. We're going to go ahead and take him down. He was alerted there. That's what I was trying to do was get his attention so he would turn around. He was feeding over there. So we're going to get a chance to actually check one of these out pretty quickly. I figured we'd have to go somewhere else to maybe find them. But they seem to be down here in the south, apparently. But there were some other fallow deer that I spotted. I ended up spooking them up here. You can see we have their tracks. That one's a 65 to 82. So not a big one. Nothing we need to really worry about. Let's get over here and let's check out this red deer, though. Before we pick up our level 7 red deer, we do have an axis deer that's coming in. Just a little level 2, 66 to 108 for his estimates. They are class 3 animals, so that's going to be a good test for the 22 to 50 here. So let's get that shot. And it just looked perfect as he came behind the tree, and he's going to be going down very quickly there. 25 to 50 already. So here is our level 7 red deer, and you can just immediately tell that there is a difference in their fur. And it looks really good in my opinion, so don't know where the... Um, confirm um, trophy is um, for some reason it's not popping up here let's see if I switch to my binoculars there he goes right there he's starting to be highlighted so he is a gold at 190.77 and we got him in the left lung and yeah they look excellent honestly like they've hit it out of the park um, so far with the feral goats the fallow deer and now the red deer just looking much better than they did it's not like a big change or anything like that but they just look much better and it was something that was needed for quite some time really really like that a lot i think the axis here also got a little bit of love i don't think they got like a fur remaster or anything like that but i saw like some other people uh, like streaming and stuff some other content creators and the axis deer when they shot them they did look a little bit better here so let's go ahead and see if we can find this guy shouldn't have went too far he was dropping pretty quickly we did get the vital blood there and then he should just be somewhere in this general area. Then here we have that axis deer. And like I said, I'm not sure about their fur or anything like that. Honestly, they kind of look the same in my opinion. But it's really in their face. I heard someone else say something about that. But their faces look so much better now. Um, they used to look just pretty awful, honestly. So it does look much more improved. But he's going to be a silver at 99.86. And then we got this guy in the right lung. And it took him down pretty quickly. We saw how fast he was dropping. They are class 3 animals. So the 22-250 is going to be perfect for them.
I honestly forgot that the feral pigs were even going to be on this map. We have a few level 3s up ahead, 76 to 107 for that one's estimates, and then a couple others behind the brush there, but that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the Bantang over here. So we have a level 4, 121 to 132. I've been hearing about the level 4s making diamond like a lot. It seems like the Bantang are pretty common diamonds. Um, we have a few females over here, and we even have some more. That one is floating in the air for whatever reason, but that level 4, he seems to be the only male over there. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what diamond is, so I we'll have to actually see once we actually take him down. Let's get this level 3 wild, or not wild boar, but the feral pig here. We'll get him down here with the Malmer 7mm, and then we'll try to go get one of them Bantang, and I was actually tracking down a hog deer, which is also one of the new species here in the game, but I'm not too sure exactly where he got to. So let's go ahead and take that shot, it's going to be fantastic, going to drop him on the spot, and they have no clue that I even shot, which is fantastic. So we're going to get over here and get this um, feral pig. Of course, as I'm getting closer to the Bantang, my level 3 hog deer is going to come back in. 74 to 91 for his estimates. And I didn't know this, but they actually have the same sound as the roe deer, at least here in the game. I'm not too sure if that's how it is in real life. But when I like got them to spook or whatever, they gave me the warning call. They sounded just like a roe deer, and I thought, did they add roe deer to this map? And I didn't realize it, but it no, it was just the hog deer. It was kind of, it just really threw me off. I think we'll take him down. Um, they're a class three animal, so we'll use the 22-250. If we spook the Bantang, we can always find him again. So we got that guy. That's going to be a pretty good shot, I would assume, into the single lung he is going to be dropping. Hopefully the Bantang did not spook, but they're going to be alert, so that's even better. We're going to get a chance to actually take him down. There's our level four right over there. And then right here we have our feral pig. Let's go ahead and pick him up and we'll just check him out really quickly. The feral pigs, they are on Teal War, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because the wild hogs, I think it is, is on um, Mississippi or whatever they're called. They're all the same thing. But this guy's a silver at 89.67 and we got him there in the left lung. So just a decent shot as he was laying down. Also got the thoracic vertebrae. Let's focus on our Bantang now. We are now in a really good spot to take down this level 4 Bantang. There's also some others that just randomly spawned in. That male over there is a level 3. If we can spot him, I'll go ahead and show you. But it's not letting me, so it doesn't matter too much. He wasn't super big. Let's go ahead and get this guy. We'll get him with the Malmer 7mm. Should be able to get something like that. It's going to take him a little bit to go down. He is going to go aggressive. Hopefully none of the others do, even though it would be pretty cool if we got attacked by a couple of them. And he's going to be dropping 50 to 75. I'm going to reload. Might put one more shot into him if he doesn't go down before we get reloaded. Um, looks like he's just going to kind of sit there. So we'll just let him drop. Um, we'll take that right there to finish him off for sure. And he is going to be down right about there. Let's get down here and let's get him. And let's see what diamond is for the Bantang. And see what he's going to end up scoring. Here we have our first Bantang. Let's go ahead and pick him up. He's going to be a gold at 122.88, and we got him in the left lung, and then also got him in the left lung for the second shot as well, just to kind of finish him off there. So diamond for the Bantang is 137. That is good to know. Gold is 109.04. He's definitely going to be a big level four, but that is really good to know that diamond is 137. Not too bad, actually. So there's going to be a bunch of others just over the hill here. Might see about getting some of them. Um, we're just going to kind of stay, um, not really crouching or anything like that. Just stay standing up and just see what we have. More than likely, it's just that same herd trying to come back in right now. If we can get that level 3, it would be pretty cool. There he is right there. That should be the level 3, and it's going to be. So 105 to 116. Definitely on the smaller side of things, and he is going to be aggressive. So we'll just run up on him here and try and get a just another lung shot on him. Should have been. Yeah, he's going to be dropping. So we'll go ahead and get that. And he's going to be down right here as well. So there he is. He's also a gold. 110.36. That's surprising. Did not expect that. Um, but yeah, 109. He just barely made it. And got him in the right lung and then left lung and liver for the second shot. Super, super cool. These things are going to be so fun to hunt, I think. But we're over here on the coast right now. So we are going to be making our way to potentially take down some alligators. Or not alligators, crocodiles, I should say. So we will be doing that. But first, we got to go back and get our um, hog deer. Now the hog deer, while they sound like a roe deer and are class 3 like roe deer, their max level is not the same. Roe deer, it's level 3, and the um, hog deer, it is level 5. So this guy, he's just going to be a silver at 76.63, and we got him right there in the right lung. So really good shot, a little bit high on him, but still pretty decent. It wasn't going to get double lung or anything like that. But diamond for the hog deer is 108.68, so that's just something else to kind of keep in mind here as we're moving along. Holy crap guys, the first saltwater crocodile I spotted 
is a 9 legendary. I didn't even have time to really react to that. I was looking at some magpie geese that were flying overhead, and there he was right there. He was alarmed as you saw a level 6 just came in in his place there. If this one decided to attack, that would be absolutely incredible. I don't know what just happened. Like, that is insane. I didn't even get to see his estimates. He, like, kind of got out of the way so quickly. Um, yeah, that was pretty crazy. So, we're going to go ahead and see if we can find him here. I don't know exactly where he went to. I don't think he went out into the water. Um, I think he's still kind of just hanging out right there. If he isn't, we might end up just kind of resetting the time here. Just so I can get him back in his zone. Like, I don't even know what was happening. Um, but let's just see what happens. Uh, yeah, I think he's just right there. So, there he is. They look absolutely huge as well. Like, this, like I said, this is the first saltwater crocodile we've spotted. Was the 9 legendary. And they are massive. Definitely bigger than the alligators. I know diamond goes up into like a thousand. I'm not sure exactly like... What the exact estimates are but i do know it goes into the thousands so 703 to 873 for this one and then the nine legendary if we can spot him is a 1061 to 1231 so not too sure exactly what exactly diamond is all i know is it's somewhere in that range let's just take him down and we will find out this is pretty crazy so you're also not going to be able to lose the alligators anymore so we can go for the lung shots and if they go into the water they will eventually eventually surface back up which is fantastic um yeah this was not expected whatsoever though let's just get over here a little bit to the left unfortunately that tree is kind of in the way we might be able to just kind of be able to stay right here and get a shot we can actually stand up and of course we're going to be swaying all over the place let's take this shot i think i think we can get right there into the lungs and it should be good and just for good measures we're going to take a second shot even though i don't think it hit him yeah he's going to be dropping that's all that matters he is going to be dropping holy crap what a start to our crocodile hunting and this one right here is going to be a 5 medium 602 to 772 holy i don't even know how to react it's like so crazy like it just happened all at once like as i was looking at some magpie geese was kind of just minding my own business walking i get the warning call and boom there he was that was crazy and i'm probably gonna say that 50 times but yeah that's another good thing that they do not like just go into the water and never come back up i am so glad they fixed that that was something i really hated for a long time let's just wait for him to get over here now we might actually be getting attacked i heard something i don't know exactly what that was Def definitely heard something um and yeah there's definitely something right behind us here so let's go ahead and get this gun ready we might be able to attack or take one down that is attacking us which would be awesome i was hoping the nine legendary might go aggressive i thought that would have been super cool if it did so where is this guy i don't see him anywhere i could be blind he might be somewhere over here there he is right there actually so yeah he's gonna end up moving away not worried about him we have a nine legendary to pick up and we're gonna pick him up as fast as possible in case the game decides to crash or something knock on wood but let's go ahead and pick him up here and he will in fact be a diamond let's tax him holy crap our first diamond here on emerald coast and he is a 1092.91 so diamond is 1015 he was actually guaranteed to be a diamond wow that is insane so 117 meters for the distance got him right there in the left lung with a perfect shot almost got into the heart actually really really close just like a few inches above it there that is so cool like i am so excited about that and 1100 kg i wonder if that's max weight that might actually be max weight it would make sense if it was i'm not too sure about that though still got to learn all of this stuff for these new species but we got a diamond and a saltwater crocodile. I call that a win for today, at least for now. We're going to hunt a little bit longer here. But that is our first diamond here on Emerald Coast. That is so exciting. And we did tag him. Just want, just, just want to make sure about that. So let's get over here and see what this one's doing. Get him to be quiet because he is going all over the place and not doing anything about it. Um, So where is he exactly? His call was over here and there he goes still. He's still just making noise. Not attacking or anything like that. I really wish he would just rush over here. Wouldn't it be crazy if he was another 9 legendary? Like, it's going to be a level 6, 745 to 915. But that would have been insane if it was another 9 legendary. So let's take that. And then potentially get a second shot on him here. Um, I think we'll just let him drop. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's run over here and get this one now. 
And here's that level 6, and there are just crocodiles everywhere. I had one that was a level 5, he just went into this little body of water here, and we have another one giving a mating call just behind us here. This guy will be a gold at 777.07. That was almost perfect, had that, um, that 0 been a 7. That would have been just really cool for his score. But yeah, that I don't think anything's going to top that today. We're going to hunt a little bit on the coast here for some more crocodiles, just because I do want to get a few to go aggressive on us, but I really don't think anything's going to top that. Let's go ahead and accept this one. And let's get over here and see what all these others are calling about. And here we go. We are being attacked by a level 6. Didn't even get to see his estimates there. Just came out of literally nowhere. So he is going to be all over the place here. Can we get a shot on him? There we go. He's going to just stop for us there for a second, and I'm just going to let him go after that. Might be able to get a second one into him, and we did. That's going to be Bottles as well. So he's going to be dropping. Pretty sure there was another level 6 somewhere over here as well, um, but here's this one. He's going to be a silver at 732.97. Right lung and left lung for the first shot, and the second shot was into the left lung. So honestly, I think crocodile hunting might be my favorite thing right now. This has been so much fun. We've only hunted like two or three, and one of them was a nine legendary diamond. I mean, that one went aggressive. But this, I can see this being some of the most fun I have here in Call of the Wild, honestly. Let's go see what else we can find. Once again, we're being attacked by a level six, 579 to 749 for this one's estimates. And we got him, good shot on him. I thought it was a neck shot for a second there, but it's not gonna be. It's just probably gonna be like single lung or something. And we might be able to get another shot into him right there just to finish him off a little bit quicker. So he'll take a minute to resurface. I think we might have another one coming after us. I keep getting some kind of call from back behind us over there. Maybe it's just a warning call. I don't know. These things just kind of come out of nowhere. You don't expect it sometimes. And they're right on top of you. So let's wait for him to float over. We'll have to we'll just wait a second because we can't get all in there. And of course, I'm going to end up drowning. But there is another one over there. It's just a female, it looks like. Let's pick this guy up, and he's going to be a silver 738.13. And got this one in the right lung and then the left lung for the second shot. And there's a nice little level 3 Axis buck, 130 to 171 for his estimates. I know he's over here along with a female. I'm just not too sure exactly where she's at. And I don't know if there's any more over here other than them two. But let's go ahead and just focus on him, I guess. We'll get him down. Should be able to get right into the lungs there, and that's going to be good. Just going to take a second shot because I can, and it's going to drop him literally on the spot. We also sound like we had some stubble quail somewhere making a noise. There's the double vitals, and here he is. So this guy will be a silver at 150.59. Got him in the right lung and the left lung. So I think that's the first double lung we've actually gotten here with the 22250. And the second shot, we really didn't need it, but we got him in the right lung and the heart. That was absolutely fantastic as he was about to lunge forward there and try and take off. So really good shots on him and he did not go anywhere. This is one of the species I'm looking forward to hunting the most here on Emerald Coast. That is the Sambar. This guy's a 119 to 147 level 4. He also has a female with him and there's also a little axis here level 2, 91 to 132 over there. But I am super excited to hunt these guys. Let's go ahead and potentially get his attention there. He's giving us an okay shot for him laying down and I think we'll go ahead and probably just try and take it. And that is just gonna drop him there on the spot. They are a class six animal, and they're a pretty big deer. Um, They honestly are. They're not as big as a red deer, kind of like in there in between, maybe a red deer and a white tail somewhere in that region. But it's just one of those species I've always wanted here in the game. And I think they're gonna be really fun to hunt, honestly. I can't wait to find a diamond. And I'm not too sure exactly what diamond is for the trophy rating, like most of the species out here. I'm just kind of learning as I go. I watched a few content creators play the game on live streams and stuff, but not a ton. Like, I want to kind of experience for myself as well. But here he is, and he will be a gold at 139.70, and got him directly in the left lung. So dropped him there pretty quickly. So yeah, they're pretty big, about the size, I guess you would say, of a red deer. Maybe just a little bit smaller. But going down here and checking out the diamond score, um, diamond is going to be 166.43. So he's a big one, um, almost at 140 there. And yeah, just a really cool species. Can't wait to hunt more of them. There we have some more ruse. This guy's going to be a mythical 376 to 452. There is also a level 7 there, 389 to 465. We also have a couple of red foxes, level 5, 7 to 10. And I think the female was actually a level 6, if I'm not mistaken. So she is somewhere over there. Would actually like to take down one of the red foxes with the new 22250 if we can, but also would love to get one of these kangaroos down. But just because we haven't shot a fox yet, I think we will go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and move in just a little bit closer. How far out are they right now? 
let's go ahead and take a look so there it is right there they're about 150 the effective range is 150 meters we should be able to get him just fine should be able to get him the red the young kangaroos are definitely going to end up fleeing they're actually already over the hill but let's go ahead and get him like i said i think the female is a level five or level six and that just smoked him that dropped him on the spot there i honestly think the 22 250 could end up becoming the best fox gun here in the game we'll have to wait and see we'll have to test it on some other ones later on but this guy he's going to be a silver at 9.37 and got him in the right lung and that was it so you saw it dropped him on the spot the 243 will also do the same thing which is kind of cool to have another option here and i do want to test out the 223 at some point to see if it's um actually buffed or if it's still kind of the same but they said they buffed it so i'm excited to actually test it out Right up ahead, we have a couple decent mythical kangaroos. This one, that's not him, but that's level 5, 181 to 257. The one beside him here is a mythical, so 360 to 436, and then that one is a 403 to 479. I think there might also be a level 7 over here. It's the one just right in front of the um, level 5, and it is a level 7, 281 to 357. Let's focus on the mythicals. I think we'll go for that one. He does have the better estimates, and then maybe the other one will go aggressive or something like that. So I have no clue what he's doing with his arms right there. It's like he's getting a little workout or something in, but he is going to be down right away. Not going to try and get him if they're standing up like that. Doesn't look like he's going to get after us or anything. So that's unfortunate, but I think we'll pick up this guy. We'll wrap things up, head to the lodge, and find a place to put our diamond crocodile. Let's get over here and get this mythical roo. And there lies another mythical kangaroo, 376 to 452, for that one's estimates. I said I was going to wrap things up after this one, but I think we'll go take that one down. The wind is terrible going that direction, but we should be able to get him. Also, I think there was a level 7 over there, if I'm not mistaken. I'm seeing a bunch of females right now, but I do think there was a level 7 and maybe a level 6. But here's our first one. This guy's going to be a gold at 440.96, and we got him in the right lung, the thoracic vertebrae, and the thoracic spinal cord, so that's what dropped him on the spot there. But he is a very nice mythical. Our mythy is going to be alerted here. I'm going to go ahead and take that shot and get him down. And like I said, there was also a level 7 over here, 389 to 465 for his estimates. He's actually a really um, decent um, level 7. So let's get down here and let's get this guy. We had a pretty good hunt today. We explored a little bit of the bottom half of the map, got over here to the east coast, hunted some crocodiles, found a diamond crocodile, and that was just a load of fun getting attacked by them as they went aggressive and everything. Can't wait to continue to do that. So the next few videos here in the next coming days are going to be pretty much the same. Just us exploring, getting up here into the northern part of the map i think the only species we didn't hunt today were the rusa deer and the magpie geese i saw some magpie geese i just never really got a shot on them and the rusa deer i think they are more in the northern part of the map but here's our mythical kangaroo he died standing up that's actually kind of interesting just to see that um how it is maybe he's glitched out or something but it's a very interesting pose to die in and he'll be a gold at 421.68 and got him in the left lung thoracic vertebrae and then that was it just got him really good there so let's go ahead and head to the lodge. Let's find a place to put this diamond crocodile. Here we are in the trophy lodge, and we're going to go ahead and place our diamond crocodile on this stand here. I had a piebald gator in this spot, so I had to find a place to put him. But there he is, 1092.91. That is incredible, and he doesn't even really fit on the stand. They are just absolutely massive. They are so big. Um, let's see, we can do a pose like that, kind of him facing the doorway there. That would be pretty cool, just coming into this room and seeing that he is absolutely massive. Such a cool find. I am really glad, really glad that we got this, and just really glad that they're in the game now. That is just amazing. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed hunting um, Emerald Coast today. I definitely think it could be a top three favorite map. Going to have to hunt it some more just to kind of see, but I do think it's going to be up there moving forward. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.